Yo, what is up guys? It's Kelvin and today I'm bringing you guys a setup video. So first we're gonna be going over my nah, nah, F that. <laughs> F that man. What it really meant was I've been gone for five years and you got to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, first we're gonna be going over uh, the my PC and the kind of parts that are in it. So for my case, I do have a Lian Lee O11 dynamic case not the mini the full uh, ATX tower case in addition to that inside if you're coming to the heart of the PC I do have a and the Ryzen 5 3600 not the X version just the basic 3600 I am installed that on a, an Asus uh, BF450F gaming motherboard in addition to that I do have it with 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM 32 gigabytes may be a little bit overkill for in terms of gaming but I also do use my computer for productivity as well so I'm talking about coding schoolwork um, you know 3d uh, graphic design stuff like that so that's I I felt like you know just to have that little buffer I needed that 32 gigabytes of RAM and I do not have it with Wi-Fi so I'm, I am running like an external like TCP link uh, Wi-Fi adapter and I I'm I have a one terabyte which oh no actually two terabyte hard drive along with a 240 kit 40 gigabyte SSDs kind of speed things up in the process. And I am running Windows 10, obviously. And last but not the not the least, I think, but I do have a RTX 3060 Ti. And yes, they do exist out there. Um, clearly you can see how they found this edition and I was able to pick this up from my local uh, micro center. And funny story, you know, like uh, I know like GPUs are in great shortage right now in the PC market. I was actually able to get three of these. I, I got the Founders Edition 3060 Ti, I got the Gigabyte OC Edition 3060 Ti, and I also got the MSI Edition 3060 Ti. Unfortunately, I do not have them anymore. I sold them, but yeah, that's the story with those. So. Moving along from my PC, kind of like let's go over my peripherals. So I do have two ASUS uh, monitors. The, they're both 75 hertz refresh rate, which I purchased from Staples. I do not know if they're available for purchase at Amazon, but I will leave them in the uh, links below if I'm able to uh, locate them, if they're also available at amazon.com. Um, they're really nice. Um, they're 21.5 inches, so relatively small file size, but having two of them like just makes productivity and work in gaming easier as well um one millisecond response hertz response time in addition to them being a resolution of 1080p i don't really need anything more than that and i'm completely satisfied with their performance and my other peripheral so for my mouse i am running a razor death adder gaming mouse um it took me it's kind of a big bigger mouse and it took me a while to adjust to its size but overall i got i kind of got used to it and then for my keyboard i do have the Sadie's mechanical gaming keyboard. It's just like a standard uh, mechanical keyboard with uh, blue switches, so like the loud clicky ones. You know, you can hear that. It's just sound pretty nice, um, pretty tactile uh, feel. And for the price of $30, which is what I bought them for, you're getting a whole lot of bang for your buck. So let me know if you guys want like a review of the keyboard or the mouse or any of the peripherals and that. I'll be sure to take that into uh, consideration. Um, Lastly, you can see on my PC, I do have some Baku guns because, you know, um, who doesn't? I, well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually more of a fan of Baku guns than I am Pokemon. I, you know, I never grew up with Pokemon. It was never my thing, but, you know, Baku guns always like number one in my heart. And then you can see at the top of me, I do have a nice little, um, uh artwork uh that i got for as a christmas gift actually and if you guys are into anime you know that's just from the show tower of god um yeah that's just bam right there and you know it's just something that i had that's like super nice and like you know kind of like ties into the setup and uh, uh makes it really nice so for my microphone i do have a blue yeti uh professional microphone which i did purchase for about 100 bucks maybe like five or four years ago it's the blackout edition so it just kind of like goes with kind of like the black and white theme I have going on with my setup. Um, for my microphone, I do have the Nubo Gaming Mic, which I purchased for about like $25, $30. And for a price of $30, again, it's a, I, as you can see, like kind of like the theme here, it's like I'm a huge value person. I go for products that like, I don't like to spend on a lot of stuff. So I try to get the most bang for my buck in any product that I get. I uh, kind of live like a frugal lifestyle, I guess. Um, and then, so if you guys want to see a review of those headphones as well, just let me know and I can do a review of those. And lastly, I think the table, the desk I have. So I was able to purchase this guest. 
desk off of amazon.com i don't remember the exact name because it's probably from like some chinese brand i did have to like build it but it was like a hundred dollars or something like that and it took me like a solid 30 minutes to build but in the end i think like the product came out like really nice again for my setup i was going for like a black and white kind of build so the desk is black my pc case is black and then my um mouse and keyboard are white and then the kind of like mouse pad and keyboard pad I have is also black, which I did purchase from wish.com. It's just like a little kind of like world map kind of uh, mouse pad. And yeah, I think that's pretty. Oh, uh, also, I almost forgot to mention the uh, webcam I use. It's just the Logitech C270 webcam, just a little basic 720p webcam because, you know, everyone is on Zoom, Microsoft Teams, uh, Google Voice Chat nowadays because of, you know, do I have to say it? Right, so that's basically it. That's been the, uh, you know, the setup tour. Um, be sure to let me know what you guys think about my setup and, you know, kind of, we can have a discussion about you guys' setups in the comments down below. Um, uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And if you have any questions, also leave them in the comments below. But that's basically been it for me, your boy Kelvin. And hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Well, maybe not next week, but soon with another video. Peace off of fire but don't mean nothing <laughs> like comment and subscribe <laughs> give me that same energy i had five years ago <laughs> get back you gotta let's play this let's play